Hi there, I'm Heidi and welcome to my home and welcome to my channel. I'm so ecstatic that you are here and this month we are going to have a theme on this channel and it's called Happy Hips for the Holidays. Now, I didn't create this theme actually, I took it from my Pilates studio, Connect Pilates, that's our theme for the month and I thought, ha, I'm still in that for my channel, I love it. Also, I was inspired by a conversation I had with my mother-in-law. She was sharing with me about how she's been having low back pain and how from time to time her legs give out on her. So with all that said, we don't realize how much our hips play a huge role in the health of our back and the health of our knees. If our hips are off, it can affect so many things up and down the chain of the body. So what we're gonna do is do some friendly, all levels, hip work, going throughout the month. We'll finish on the fourth week with our hip series and then the final month of this year, I'm gonna do a little YouTube workout countdown. Are you ready to join me? Let's do it. So today we're going to begin with the side hip series. So we're going to be working your rotators of your hips. So the booty, the small muscles of the booty, the outer hip, that outer thigh. Yeah, so when those muscles are strong, they're going to support your back wholeheartedly. Now, I said this is all levels. I'm going to try and talk quickly. You have three options in terms of placement. We're going to start on our side. My more advanced friends, if you want to challenge that shoulder stability and support and the oblique connection, you're going to place yourself in a position right on that forearm. This is going to be your starting position. My friends who would rather just chill and be down on your sides like I'm going to do today, you can be right here. Yes? If this is not friendly for your shoulder, this is where the pillow becomes involved. You're gonna place it right underneath your head, place that shoulder there in front of you, and you're ready to go, yeah? Next in alignment, this is actually comfortable, but I'm not gonna use it, I'm not gonna use it. Okay, so we're here. I'm gonna extend my arm nice and long, and we're gonna start with some clamshells, yeah? So my waistband is lifted. So even though we're doing some hip work, this is still Pilates-based movement. We're not laying here like we're watching Netflix, right? Pull that rib cage up, feel that connection to your core here. And from here, all I want you to do is just open and close that top knee. And as you're doing that, I want you to think of the length on the hip, the hips are perfectly stacked here, and as that knee opens, you're working into your rotators without allowing the hip to fall backwards, right? Then you're not going to really feel anything, yeah? So evaluate that for yourself. Let's do five more here, and we have four. Last three. Last two, you're gonna hold on one. So we're working that external rotator. Now we're gonna work into the internal. You're gonna bring the knee down and the foot up. So we internally rotate and then we externally rotate. What? So we go down with the knee and then we go up with the knee. Yeah, so it's like kind of like a windshield wiper. Yes, down and up. Ooh, we have six more. I'm already feeling a burn. Five and open. Last four. And these are exercises you can do daily. If you really wanna build up the strength in your hips, no squats required, friends. Last one here, bring it down and hold it here. Bring your bottom leg to meet the top leg. Still engaged in the body here. We're gonna open and close. And you're gonna notice now, you can get more range of motion in that hip, that's totally normal. Yes, now you're gonna notice your bottom hip may or may not be stabilizing. You might start to feel it here. Yes, let's do four more. 
Exhale for three. Last two. Final one. Now don't take too long of a break. Lower your leg down, straighten that top leg out. Now, right here, relax the foot. It's like dead weight at the end of your leg. Pull that hip away from the rib cage. It's like a free ankle weight, you're welcome. From here, we're just gonna lift and lower that leg. Pure hip abduction or side leg lifts, yes? We have six more, up and down. If your leg is creeping forward, if you're feeling this in your hip flexor and not in your booty, creep that leg back a little bit. It should be right underneath the body, yes? Knee pointing forward, toes relaxed towards the floor. Two more here. On your last one, hold. We're gonna take that leg, we're gonna bring it forward. We're gonna fold as much as we can, as much as that hamstring will let you. You're gonna lift, oh, lower, and bring it back. What? And again, so you bring it forward. You lift, lower, bring it back. I'm already feeling it, yes? Lift, lift, lower, and back. I'm getting ahead of myself. Again, we go forward, we lift the leg, we lower the leg, we bring it back, four more. I'm shooting for about eight to 10 in each variation. As you know, if you come to my channel often, <laughs> I'm a terrible counter. Two more, just like that. You might be yelling at me, hurry up, it's burning, come on, you got it, that burn is a good thing, pull it back and relax, take a moment. Cross that leg over, maybe give it a little pound out. Now, my men, I probably have more women on this channel than men, but my men, this is super good, as most men are really weak on the outer thigh and the inner thigh even, yeah? So, pounding that out, you are gonna press yourself up, no fancy transition, you're just gonna swing your legs around to the other side, and we're gonna Lather, rinse, repeat, yeah? So coming down onto that side, we're in our fetal position, we're engaged in our waistband here. From there, we're gonna go right into that clamshell. We're gonna open and we're gonna close. We have about 10 here. Again, hips stay stacked. If you need to place your hand on your hip and push it forward for affirmation, that's fine too, right? Or accountability. I have the habit of using whatever words I want. <laughs> Last three, open and close. Last two. On your last one, we hold and add that internal rotation down and open. So we internally rotate, we externally rotate. Yeah, going both directions here, really opening that hip, but being mindful that the hip is not rolling backwards, yes? Still checking in on that waistband. Let's do three more. Now you might feel it sooner on this side because believe it or not, this side was stabilizing a lot while you were working on your first side. Yeah, one more time, just like this. Now, internally rotate and bring the bottom leg to meet the top leg, so you're here. And we're gonna open and close again, clamshells. Now the feet are up in the space, holding that position. Now, if you're new to this, right, and you're doing the exercise, don't worry about being perfect, right? We're learning, yes, if this is your first time doing hip work, I am so ecstatic you're here. Don't worry about being perfect. I'm just happy that you're doing this. Do two more. On your last one, we're gonna bring it down. <sighs> Hold it here, shoot that top leg straight, relax the foot, check in on the waistband. If you're getting tired in your waist, don't worry. Yes, we're gonna lift and lower that leg. Oh my goodness, my leg feels so heavy. My glute is like on fire fire here. Let's do six more and five. I'm gonna count myself out. Four, holding myself accountable. Three and last two. Hold it on one. We're gonna take the leg forward. We lift, we lower, we take it back. If it starts to burn, just smile. It's all right. It's all good. Yeah. It feels great, working your way to a stronger hip region, right? Better support for your low back, better support for your knees, your ankles. Yeah, take three more. Lift, 
lower and back. Last two. Lift, lower and back. One more. Forward, lift, lower. Take it back and cross it over. Very nice. Give it a little pound out. Give that booty some love. And then take a moment. Lay on that back. Yeah, and from here, you're gonna cross that right leg over, or the leg that you just got finished working, cross it over that thigh. Maybe this is enough for you, you feel that stretch, great. If you wanna add on, you're gonna bring that other leg up to a little tabletop, okay? We're gonna reach through underneath the thigh and just give yourself a little stretch here. I'm even gonna use my elbow to push away on that knee to get a deeper stretch in that piriformis. Yeah, or your glute, <laughs> yeah? Whichever you prefer to use. Piriformis, butt area, I don't wanna get too anatomical because I know it throws people off. Hold it here. And then let's take a moment. We're gonna bring it to the other side. So short, funny story. My husband doesn't like taking sessions with me because he says I showboat, like I use too big of words. <laughs> my clients always find that funny too. My clients, you know, they understand me after a while. They're great. Anyways, we're gonna hold this another moment here. Breathe it out. Yes. Awesome. And then take a second there. You can hug your knees in. You can hang out there. Or you can check out another video on my YouTube channel. There's so much to choose from. And if you're new to Pilates, I do have a beginner's Pilates session you should totally take advantage of. Thank you so much again for joining me. Come see me next week for part two of Happy Hips for the Holiday, where we'll address the hamstrings, more glutes, but this time the gluteus maximus, that big muscle, and a little bit of inner thigh. See you again next week. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you liked this video. Give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget, subscribe and you'll be notified when the next video drops. And in the meantime, come join me on Instagram. I hope to see you soon. <laughs>